Oscar Wevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm with the two best looking brothers in boxing. If you didn't have your kit on, Carl, I wouldn't know who's who. That's a problem. Um, yeah, 2 0, good work. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It was a good fight. I, I enjoyed it. Five weeks as well. Um, five weeks ago, you sort of smashed onto the pro scene. Jordan Dujon's no mug. Um, in for more experience, man, tonight, and got your first stoppage. I feel like in two fights, you've covered a lot of bases. Yeah, well. Like you said, two fights in five weeks, it, it, it was good. I had short notice for this fight, but um, yeah, Jordan, he was 4-0. I felt like on my debut, there was a lot of pressure. I was quite tense, I was quite tight, and I was loading up a bit. But I took so much experience from that fight, more than I probably would from four or five fights. Uh, and then I was able to take it into the second fight there, and, and I think I showed I was a lot more relaxed. I was letting my boxing flow more. Let's talk about the first knockdown. It was one of those sort of car crash knockdowns. He's walked onto it, you've thrown it at the same time. And I'll be honest, I didn't think he was getting back up. Yeah. He did. He survived for another two minutes without throwing a shot. But yeah, the first knockdown sweep. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to watch it back. But um, I just remember, I think it was a, like a crisp one too. And I think the, the, the backhand was, it was like a delayed reaction. And any he, he, he kind of fell down. <laughs> Come here, oh, for Come God's sake. <laughs> Bro, he's, oh, had he's always getting in an interviews, isn't he? Oh, always. <laughs> Yeah, I've missed shoes too, haven't I? I missed you, missed you, shoes too, man. Did you break down? Anyway, mate, it ain't about Joe. It's, yeah. it's about the twins. <laughs> yeah. I saw, I broke down five mile away from the arena, right? I've just got you. But I, con, congrats. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. He's a book. He's a book. I ain't getting that bit in. He's a, he's a boxing whore. He's a boxing whore. He loves, he loves the, he loves the, he loves the spotlight. Um, but yeah, uh, Ben. Walking around here and people waxing lyrical about Carl, I know I saw your interview with Andy from your first performance, you were sort of quite uh, critical and harsh on yourself um, and I know you won't big yourself up too much but how good is your brother? Brilliant mate, you ain't even seen, I don't think he left second gear there and he got that nice, I don't think he got hit either, so he's brilliant man, like I see the best of him in the gym and he is really like, he's brilliant, you, you're going to see. How far can he go? All the way, all the way, no doubt, all the way. We wouldn't be in this if we didn't think we could do it. And we're not going to half fight it. I feel like that's the sort of the pressure that comes to you boys. People will turn over and they'll say, I'd like to be world champion. I want to see how far I can get. British is the dream. But I feel like walking around, like I said, everyone's so waxing lyrical about you. And I know they do about you as well, Ben. So I feel like it's either all the way or nothing. That's a lot of pressure to handle though, isn't it? We, we've done it the hard way our whole life. Ever since uh, young amateurs, we, we've taken the hard route. So. Uh, yeah, man, there's, there's always pressure, pressure and everything, but uh, the cream always rises to the top and I think we've, if we keep working hard and we keep believing in ourselves, anything's possible. When are we going to see you back? Because the plan is still to get you two on, whether it happens when you're 3-0 and 2-0 and or whatever, or when it happens, uh, 10 fights Lee, down the line. Or... Stick it on Lee, tell him. Stick it on Lee later yeah, in the yeah, hotel, yeah. yeah. We will, we will. Like I just said, my, I'm getting over a hand injury from my debut. Obviously, I bust my hands in the fourth round, so I'm getting over that now. I've just started smashing the pads again. I'll probably start sparring in two to three weeks, and uh, hopefully I'll be out in the gym, mid-June. As soon as I can, I'll be out. We're always in the gym. We don't leave the gym. We're dedicated all year round. There's no, there's no break for us. Even when we like go on hot, hot weather training camps, like we don't really go on holiday, we just train. So, yeah. I love the fact you're sort of living off each other's success as well. It's like him doing well it gives you that feeling. Because I know obviously you're twins, so you are going to be close. But when you're doing something that, you know, boxing's so independent, you can have all the support you want, but you're in the ring on your own. So I love the fact that you're just bouncing off each other as well. Yeah. He, wins, he won by knockout tonight, but I feel like I won by knockout. Yeah. That's how it feels for us. So yeah. he, he's going to take loads of confidence from this, but so have I. It's crazy. So yeah, we, we push each other all the time so it's, it's like you said we're, when we're building we're both building together ain't individual for us we're a team well I'll say one thing you two are better fighters than your boys are and your team are at table tennis because they are both absolutely <laughs> dog shit and I had to get that in because they told me last night to say that they beat, uh, they beat me but they didn't yeah, I heard you done I heard you was light work I was ready to smash you after this yeah. <laughs> Do you know what he done I was about to win last point he put the ball down the lift shaft so te <laughs> technically technically it's a no contest but that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Is that the, that's a fail all over yeah, yeah, yeah no contest we find a way to win if not win we'll dodge it we'll dodge losing yeah <laughs>